Greetings, the internet! It is I, Yokel, back with some more Feed the Beast Revelation for you. How's everybody doing today? Great, let's get on with it. So, need some pants. All out of pants. I'm going to make some more of these hardened leather leggings from Pam's Harvest Craft. Because <laughs> I really like them. I think they look really nice. And they actually have a really nice armor level. It's the same as diamond. You just don't get that little extra bit of uh, protection. Uh, whatever that's called, the... Uh, yeah, the protection. But uh, there we go. Yeah, got some pants. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, guys. It's been... No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. What we were doing last episode was working on this mineralis contraption over here. And so I've spent a little bit of time uh, improving upon the design. I started scaling it up and I was like, this is just a madness. So here's what I've come up with. This is a little bit more elegant. Same principle. We're using the sensors to detect stones. This time we're looking in a row of five stones instead of three because... Well, the sensors will, will look uh, at an area up to five blocks long. So we're going to do that. Uh, looking for stones. If there's a stone, this turns on. This turns off. Nothing happens. If all the stones turn to ore, thanks to that mineralis ritual up there, then the signal turns off like it is now. Turning the torch on, which sends a signal to our sequencer, which is programmed to send out one blip, one little pulse of redstone. That goes into redstone wire connectors down here that are set to, I think, let's see, output. Is that right? And you know, I always get this backwards. Let's take a look here. You know, grab my engineer's hammer. Uh, input, input, because the signal is coming into it. It's coming into it. So it's set to input. And you can tell because it's blue. And over here, the signal is then sent to these connectors, which are sent to output because they are putting the signal out to the pistons that they're attached to. So what that does is once all of the stones in this row turn into ore, the pistons will fire, pushing them all up out of the way and emptying out the piston down here, ready for the Ranocarpus to add some more. Let's see, I don't have any stone on me. Let me go grab some. You recall last episode I had this igneous extruder up here. I've added a drawer, so it's been collecting stone for us. And uh, that's been really handy. Huh, I didn't realize there was a gap there. Uh, anyway, let's see. Let's just throw some out here and let the flower do its thing. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to add a automatic precision dropper over here. And it's going to spit stone out for the flower whenever we need it. And... It sounds really simple. <laughs> it seems like a really, really simple idea, but something tells me that it's going to prove problematic for me. But we're going we're gonna to start that way at least and see how it goes. Yeah, there we go. Got all of them. All right, so now what's going to happen is once all of these ores in each row, or one of the, all of the stones in a row, once they turn into an ore, then it'll get pushed up. And that will bring us to the next part of the mineralis contraption. And let's see, let's just put this in here for right now. And let's get that part going. And what we need to do is we need to make a collector crystal over there. And I have one in here, I think. Oh, I have an attuned one. We still need to turn it into the collector crystal. Let's see, how do we do that? Um, why doesn't, I don't know why that doesn't work. Um, you can't type in Astral Sorcery Celestial into this thing. It doesn't actually bring up, doesn't actually bring up the recipe form. But if you just look up Astral Sorcery, or AS in this case, there they are right there. So I don't know what gives. Okay, so we need some Stardust, Resonating Gems, and Illumination Powder. Well, let's see. The Resonating Gems are no problem. We got gazillions of them over here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to figure this out pretty soon. Look at all that sand I have. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I like the Jabba barrels. Uh, maybe there's something about them I don't understand, but I tried to make this one the one that all the sand would go into, and you would think since there's sand in it, all the sand would have gone into it, but for some reason it kept wanting to put it in this one here, so I just let it until it filled up. So, all right, we got our resonating gems, and we've got some illumination powder down here. And, oops, I don't need that much. One, two, three, four. And let's see. I need stardust. I don't want to grind that up. Let's grab some iron ore. I'm assuming we have some over here. Do we? Probably. Uh, yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Might as well make up, uh, make up a batch of it while I'm at it. And let's go over to one of the collector crystals. We'll just do the, the close one here. Oh, yeah, you can see all the purple slimy grass I put in up here. I replaced all of that bright, gaudy green grass with 
bright gaudy purple grass <laughs> i think it looks just as just as amazing as the green it just kind of goes more with the amaranth planks down here now all right let's see so let's take our iron ore i'm just going to do one spot here and our linking tool uh i guess i need to use this once here so we're going to link that collector crystal to this block right here and voila, Stardust, uh, well, Star Metal. And we'll just do that a few more times here and then I can go grind these up. Oh, and you know what we need to do is we also need to go back up here and unlink. We need to unlink this block because right now we're splitting the starlight and you can see, yeah, it's actually sapping quite a bit away from our altar. So what we need to do is we need to unlink this part. We just click and then shift click and there it's unlinked. Yeah, no more beam, beam disappeared. And now we should have all that starlight, yeah, back here in our altar. So, uh, so I have, I'm eating my shovel. <laughs> I, uh, while I was doing uh, some of this landscaping and redecorating, we, we might talk a little bit about that, but you can see I've done some stuff out here. I was just burning through the shovel that I had, so I added a pig iron shovel head to it. And uh, yeah, I keep eating it. <laughs> Not on purpose, it's just happening. All right, let's see. So we have our, oops, we need it here. There we go. So we have our crystal, our collector crystal. And mm, can I remember how this goes? Uh, no, probably not. Let's just look. Yes, excellent. All right, well, that's cooking. Let's grab some marble because we're going to need to build. Do I have any in here? Uh, I'm going to need that column, so let's take that. <laughs> uh, also going to need these. And um, probably, yeah, we're going to need, we're going to need to make a few other things. So let's take a look at that real quick while we're over here. We're going to need to make some of these breaking lenses. I also need one of these prisms. And, ooh, that's uh, that's got a lot going for it. So we have everything we need for those. All right, let's take care of this. I'm going to go cook up all of these here uh, astral sorcery items that we need, and then we will... Oh, hey, there's my my crystal. Um, <laughs> hang on. I got too much stuff here. I don't need bacon in my, pan, in my hand right now. No bacon in my pants. Things are slow. While that is making, we are also going to want a ranged collector. And let's see, actually additions ranged collector, maybe. No, because it needs ender pearls and I don't have any of those. So let's do uh, the one from Gadgetry. Yep, very slow. On with the fun stuff now. So we've got all of the things that we need. I just know it. There couldn't possibly be anything else that we're going to need to finish this part of the project because I would have got it already. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I guess I need to cover that hole. Uh, apparently, if you land on these wires, they break. So that's not good. <laughs> Hold on a second. Don't like to do this, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it like this for for right now. Keep us from, keep me <laughs> from falling in there. Keep mobs from falling in there, hopefully. Yeah, uh, that should, whoops, ah, that should help. Okay, so we're going to go right over here where the creeper blew up um, that you guys didn't see. <laughs> we're going to put this thing right about here, I think. We line it up, maybe. Oh, I just thought of something I didn't bring over. <laughs> You knew there'd be something. And this is not latex, right? Yeah, liquid starlight. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't work with liquid latex, guys. You don't know what I'm talking about. You need to go back and watch other episodes of my series because that joke would make sense to you. All right, here we go. So we've got this part here set up. Now we just need to put our collector crystal up here. There we go. And... Voila, there we go, look at that. We have a collector crystal here, cool. So what that is going to do for us is, 
Yeah, let's fill that in a little bit. What this collector crystal is going to let us do is power the block breakers for over here. And so let's do that now. Um, I didn't bring any fancy decorative blocks over here with me, so we're just going to use these spruce planks for right now. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to set a lens on each one. Yeah. We got our breaker lenses, and we're going to put all those in there. Yeah. Cool. And then. Ah, <laughs> whole. Then what we want to do? We grab our linking tool. And we're gonna link each one. Here, get out of there, wand. We're gonna link each one with the last block in the row here. And then what you got to do is you gotta you gotta switch to a different tool. See, it says stop the linking down there, and then go back to the linking tool. Uh, you got to do that, otherwise it'll just keep trying to link the same lens to whatever you're clicking on, and that just gets all boogered up. So, all right, so switching, clicking, selecting. We're in the middle, right? Yep. Not real great at trigonometry. <laughs> somebody, somebody has a better idea how I can do this. By all means, don't be afraid to let me know. Yeah, close that hole so I stop falling in it. All right, now what we need to do is. Let's see, let's go right, let's just keep it right in line here with everything. Uh, yeah, that looks like a nice height, I think, right? Kind of a little, uh, maybe maybe one higher. Yeah, let's do it one higher. Yeah, and then we need our prism. Oop, there we go. Cool, now all we got to do is we got to take our linking tool, link our collector crystal to our prism. Yeah, ooh, pretty. And then we can link our prism. Ooh, let's see, deselect, select. Select the prism, and then I can select it to uh, focus it on each one of these. There we go. Boom. And voila, just like that, it's all broken. Go, Ran and Carpus, do your thing. Let's check this out. Let's get up here and just watch. Watch the magic happen. Ooh, look at that, it's getting close. Got one, two rows about to pop. Three rows about to pop. Boom, there it goes, and it popped. All right, well this is obviously working just fine. Meeting and exceeding all expectations. So, let's go ahead and put down the ranged collectors, and the reason I brought two is because these things have a fairly limited range, so let's see here. Um, Obviously, like three away. Yeah, it'll get three away, four away, four away, five away. Yeah, uh, I think that's the limit there. One, two, three, four. So we could put it right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and just put it in the ground right here, and I can put one right here then. Okay, so we put our transfer node here. That'll grab something, yeah, right? And... Yeah. <laughs> like my floor. Yeah. And then just for right now, we'll just have it spit out right up here. That one work, hopefully? Yes, excellent. Love it, I love it, love it when other mods wrenches work. Thinking I should probably address the, uh, probably should address the power supply, shouldn't I? So let's do that. Let's take a look at the, what we need to make the, uh, the generators that use lava. And I think um, that is under extra utility. Generators, one of these. Magmatic generator, there we go. Um, what I don't know is how much power it'll make. I guess that's one of the things we'll have to find out, huh? Let's make two of these, and then we can uh, we can see how well it does, how well they do, and and if we still have lava left after making two of those, then we can maybe make a few more. Um, we'll see if it actually eats the bucket. If it does, well, we'll deal with that. You guys like my pathways? So I was playing around with a couple of different designs. I was trying wooden boardwalks and stuff like that, and I decided I'd just kind of go back to the old basic gray, uh, tileish gray stone, gray tile type uh, pathways. And I kind of like it. It mixes well with the pathway, I think. And, you know, I'd had seared tinker stone over here 
Uh, decided we'll just save that for things like walls and structures, and then we can do gray on the ground. So cool. I kind of like it. I pushed this back. I don't know if you guys remember, but the, like there was only like three or four blocks of flat right here before it went up under this area. So I pushed this area way back, took up most all of the flat space that was left out here, and it uh, feels a lot better now. So, yeah. The little things in life, you know, guys, just the little things. Okay, let's see. We need our furnaces. Yep. And last but not least, the magmatic generator. Cool. It didn't, and it didn't eat my lava bucket. Our power cells right here. Gonna need a connector feeding power back into it. So let's figure out where that's gonna be. So there's the connector that is pulling power from it. And so if I look if I look underneath here, I should see that it's set to output on that side. Yeah, so we just need to set input. Uh, where where are the Xnet? <laughs> where are the Xnet things at? Um, yes, there's a connector right there. And let's go ahead and grab all of them. Ideally, what I would like is for these liquids to be on their own network entirely. And so that's probably one of the things I'll do behind the scenes. I'll do a little uh, network maintenance, if you will, and uh, set up a couple of uh, separate networks and then tie them all in to, so they work together. Okay, so there is, there's that one. Let's see, let's just call that uh, power cell in so I know which one that is. Okay, all right, so. Uh, power cell in. It's this one. Yeah, so we want energy to come in to that one. Okay. Uh, maybe let's just put it right here then. Put it right there. And does it still show up? It does. Okay, great. So what we want this to do is we want lava. Where's lava? So it's pulling out lava where is it putting the lava <laughs> uh let's see let's just put it let's just see if we can't get it to go in here now boom look at that all right cool and what are we making uh i don't know how do i tell what it's making oh there we go here okay so cracked there we go Put my connector on there. We'll call that uh, power cell input two, I think is what I called the other one. I don't know. I don't know. Just work here. Okay. That there. And then that will be insert. Cool. And then extract. Cool. All right. Great. Look at that. We got us lava power now. That's great. Cool. I'm just going to put this back together. Nice. Oh, I like that. Got the red in there. Oh, neat. <laughs> cool. All right. So we'll just have to kind of keep tabs on the lava, but I'm guessing we're not going to run out. <laughs> I'm guessing we'll have plenty, plenty lava. We want to ooh, avoid powering the piston. Uh, and this needs to be in the uh, same mode as those. So, oh, bother. Um, uh, let's see. don't want it to go right to that. Let's put, um, I think the sense sequencer, right? We'll put the sequencer in there and we'll tell it to do one, two, three, four, five blips. Sequence length uh, five, I think, and then one and done. And then what we'll do is you're going to set to output, and then we're going to put one right here, set to set to input. Cool.
and use my these things. These are directional. Wrong direction. <laughs> Mm hmm. Yeah, think about this for a second now. So I need to send the signal over yonder, and a uh, great way to do that would be okay. Uh, so this one right here is not going to work just yet because I don't have a wire set up for it. But I think this will all work because so they'll send a signal. We'll go through here. It should spit out five, if I'm not mistaken. So let's find out if that's true. All right, there's eight in there. Let's go ahead and put two in. Um, and keep our fingers crossed that this thing actually fires off sometime today. Tell you what, let's just speed it up there. You see, it's just spitting out one right now. I think I know why it's doing that. All right, so I have once. When a redstone signal is received, loop the cycle once, ignore further pulses. Um, so maybe I need to give it a little bit of space like that, perhaps. Like, let's go ahead and tell it 64, just, I don't know, because. <laughs> it just spit out one. Why is it only spitting out one? Doesn't restart on no signal. Do not step in the cycle for every redstone pulse. Yeah, it should be that one, I would think. Maybe maybe a delay of two. Mm, I don't know. I don't know really how to work this thing. <laughs> I'm kind of kind of trying to figure it out here on my own as I go along. Okay, I want five. I want it to come up with five. So that spit out two. two. three, four, five. Let's try that maybe. All right. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. Um, why aren't those being grabbed? Maybe these need to be above the ground. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is working out really nicely, guys. I, I'm i sure that I'll run into some kind of problems with it. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some some bug fixes that I have to, uh, to try to come up with for something. But uh, for right now, it actually looks like it's working pretty well. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm going to say pretty one more time. Pretty. Because um, it is pretty. Look, it's so pretty. What I'll do, uh, oh great, yeah, well there's the rain, you know what that means, time to end the episode. <laughs> uh, what I'll do between now and the next episode is I will uh, continue to work on this over here, getting the stone uh, fed automatically to the, uh, the dropper over here, and probably, you know, uh, make this a little bit prettier over here, uh, decorate it up, spruce it up, that kind of thing. <laughs> spruce! And, uh, yeah, I'll probably work on some of the networking stuff that uh, I may have mentioned earlier. I don't even remember now. Uh, I think I did. Uh, assuming I don't edit it out, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, otherwise, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for joining me today. I had a really great time. I'm very excited about uh, the Mineralis contraption here, the mining contraption. And uh, I hope it does uh, good things for us. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Feed the bees. Revelation. Yoku.